Giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talk. Okay, what's up, my money makers, my honey boo bells, and my cousins, my cousins, and my girl Shabam Boo sitting over here with me. So uh -huh. See, now that's what I'm talking about, Shabam Boo. <laughs> so guess what? Yeah, niggas trying to hide the good shit. Yeah, niggas trying to hide the good shit. So, what me and Shabam Boo want you to do is to take a real good look. At this picture. I mean, look at this damn picture. Okay? So, in 2017, when this picture came out, this picture came out and it surfaced because, you know, these were the killers. This was the guy in um, the kitchen, the one in the blue, was the guy in the kitchen. He was standing in the door behind Kanika and this and other. And look, and, and I felt like when they were trying to put these people in Irene's video and that boy in the kitchen, I never remember. You never heard me talk about that fuckery because I it never fit. For one, this boy looked like he like 4'11". Whoever... Well, I'm not going to say whoever in the kitchen because I know it wasn't nobody. That was just like a jacket or one of those um, plastic things, you know, people, when you spray in the floor or washing dishes or something, you know, how they put their plastic thing. It was something like that. One of them goddamn doctor suits or something like that hanging up. And like I said, this dude like 4'11", 5 feet. And whatever that was hanging up in the kitchen was damn near as tall as the, you know, like the top pane in the door, you know. So, I'm like, no. what he do? Walk on stilts the whole night at the party? That never fit for me. Okay, and then we got the dude in the black. Now, the thing was with the dude in the black is that it was kind of mysterious because by this time, we do see people walking in the hall with Kanika. We do feel like Kanika is being carried and led through the hall. You know what I'm saying? So, by this time, you know, it's some putting it out there like, hey, this could be the dude uh, with the black arm that was patting Irene on the head. And this who could have possibly took Kanika, so on and so forth. That's how that was going. Well, that all came out that, you know, that was not who it was. Mike Mike said that that was him um, that was patting Irene on the head. So, when Mike Mike came out and said that to me, what that told me is that this group of boys are not the group of boys that, you know, were at that party. Now, Dion, that's the dude in the blue, he said he was not at the party. In his statement, he said that he felt like he was being set up. Because um, the statement was like something about, well, why was the picture out? And he was like, well, he feel like he was being set up. Somebody put the picture up there. You know, I kind of believe this young man was not there. Now, I would kind of go along that these other people may not have been there. But if so then they didn't come together like this that night. This, I don't know. I don't see no connections with this picture and that party. I have not found none so far because the guy in the black, that's not the dude patting Irene, that was Michael Tate. The mess in the blue in the kitchen, that was not this boy. That mess was hanging too high, plus it never moved. It's not a face. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know why people are still feeling like there's somebody right there. There's no, there's nothing. There's something just hanging there. You know, there's a garment just hanging there. Um, the dude with the dress in the pictures. Now, uh, in Irene's live, not in her glasses, but when she's holding the phone and she leans over, you can see the guy, uh, a guy in the dress on the bed across from Irene, closer to the headboard. But, I don't feel like it's this guy. Now, here is the thing. I don't remember but one person in 2017 even mentioning this. 
and him and his friends were just talking about the case. You know, they was laughing about it. it wasn't really making no big deal about it, but I, I kind of feel like it's a big deal because I feel like this was done intentionally, and by it being done in 2017, and they gave us that bullshit, and no, everybody spun at least a month or two on this whole little boy in the blue, the, who in the red, who's that in the black back there, you know, that took time away from the case, you know, for those of us that was really trying to figure some things out at the time, early on in the thing, so whoever put this out was a major distraction, because this nigga in the red ain't got no head, how in the fuck do this nigga not have a head, he ain't been down, he ain't turned over. Like, you can literally see straight through from, you know, where his head is. Ain't no neck, ain't no head. Like, he was in intentionally deleted out. And this mess was put out, and, you know, people ran with it, and they never caught it. And I just wanted to make sure, like, you know, this was, like, in all the pictures. So I went back, and I accumulated you know, looking at quite a few of these pictures from different content creators when they posted this picture in their videos, um, all of that good stuff. And from 2017 all the way to now, this nigga in this picture ain't got no head. Why? How come he ain't got no head? Because remember, uh, with him... Everybody had pulled up this one guy that had a jacket with a logo or whatever on it that you were seeing off up in Irene's glasses. But me, um, as of now in 2019, I feel like that that was Neff. As, you know, time went by and we studied who came with who, who all these people are, and we didn't pretty much put names with faces now. I feel like who we were seeing in the red shirt in Irene's live was Neff. If I'm not mistaken, you know, the guy when we pulled up in 2017 had on, like, had the same logos on the jacket as Neff got on that jersey shirt or whatever he got on. It's like the same logos. But I don't feel like this set right here were together at that party, you know, I mean, one out of the four might have came, but I don't feel like these were, these, these guys were there, I feel like this was a distraction, and I feel like it, I feel like it did one hell of a job, you know, distracting a lot of people, because a lot of people spent a lot of time trying to dissect the people in this picture, and trying to place them in their room, or their hotel, and at the end of the day, it was all false, like, it, it couldn't line up. It couldn't make sense. It, it just didn't work. Because, like I said, um, dude in the black turned out that it turned out to be Michael Tate. Dude in the blue, he too short to be that tall in the hotel. Dude with the dress, really don't have anything on him. Because, to me, you know, the only thing they could say was that was the dude on the bed. But, if all of these were to come together, and then we have... Um, you know, through the statements, who said they came together at the party and who would have, uh, you know, placed themselves in the room during this time, it wasn't that guy, you know. So, um, then here with the guy in the red, you know, we don't have no valid proof that he was in that party because, like I said, I think that the person in Irene's glasses with the red on that you see with the little logo is Nev. So, um, they kind of, you know, would kind of clear these people in the picture as far as the accusations that was brought against them in 2017. But I still want to know why the fuck this nigga ain't got no goddamn head in this picture. Y'all see it. Stop using this damn picture. If you want to use a picture of Dion, just go get a picture of Dion what is his name? Dion Harden, Hard Hardman, Harden or something. Just get a picture of him. Stop putting this damn picture up with this nigga with no head. Like um Sleeping Hollow, you know, the man with no head riding on the headless horseman. Dead man. You know what I'm saying? Like what what is really going on? So this here also lets me know that we was fed a bunch of fuckery from 
2017 on back and for stuff like this to be out and like for them facebooks and stuff to be i mean they go deeper than just youtube and facebook when they were snatching people's stuff off and that this shit hits in like a governmental uh world you know what i'm saying like there was government access to do certain things like that because Facebook and YouTube just not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? These people generate too much money to just go in and do some fuck shit like that without a uh, higher up government official or a higher up elite paying them or telling them to do so. You know, that could press the button on their whole operation. Like, you know, we can shut this shit down all together. So either you're going to do this or it ain't going to be no more Facebook and YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, um, y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the Headless Horseman in this picture. And, uh, tell me, what do you think the real reason was for this picture? Because I feel like it was a distraction. Because knowing what we know now, you know, this picture has nothing to do with the case, true enough. Uh, other than, uh, Dion having sickle cell. And I guess he would be... Uh, able to get his hands on the medicine that they claim that Kanika had in her system, which I honestly don't believe that that was the medicine Kanika had in her system, but we're also going to talk about that later. So, I'll see y'all down in the comments, and make sure y'all hit that bell for the next one. This your girl Money Stacks, signing out. Smooches, peace.